Hi everyone, I am going to explain to you how to use the online tool that String Basics offers. First thing you want to do is go to the website of the publisher, kjos.com. So once you're there, um, you want to go to the Interactive Practice Studio. You'll notice I um, was already there, but if I go to the page you initially get, you want to go to Enter IPS at the bottom. So click on that, and it takes you to the page where I previously was. Um, on the right here, you can download. You can go down to the features. You can find out what types of things you can use um, online and also just get some facts. So if you're having trouble downloading, that might help. I've already downloaded this tool to my desktop. So I'm gonna go in and open it up. Sometimes it takes a little while to load. Um, so let's see here. All right, there it is. So what you're seeing is um, the entry area. I'm gonna click the green button. I'm gonna put my name in. I'm gonna make it up. I'm not gonna worry about a password right now. Enter. Now you're not going to get the screen. What you're going to get is a series of questions and one of those you will need to answer, which I already did, which I should have been recording at that point, but you're gonna to have to put in your user license code. It's located on, on the inside cover of the back, um, back inside cover. You wanna put in that code I happen to have a cello book, so I, I received the cello virtual book. I'm going to enter. By the way, if you have more String Basics book at your home, that last page had a plus sign. You can always add in a separate book if you need to, like book two, and then you'd enter that code. So that is an option. Right here, uh, it asks you what page you're on. You can scroll, and I recommend this when you're first coming back in because otherwise you have to flip page to page. So um, let's go to A minor, just for the heck of it. I'm gonna enter. It's gonna take me right to that page where A minor is located, which is so odd, because do you actually see A minor? I don't. At any rate, you're gonna see um, there's some tools here. You see on, there's a speaker. You can rest, listen two, to it. Three and four e and. Now they don't have the student part listed because I muted that, but I can unmute it Rest and two, listen to how the song and sounds. And a. So that's a great feature, probably the most important feature. If you click on the microphone, you can actually record yourself. I'm not going to do that right now. And if you click on the star, you can learn something about either the composer or the piece of music. So I find that this is kind of a fun way to explore my book. Um, so I think you should try and do it too. Um, again, you go to kjos.com. You download the IPS Interactive Studio. You go to the back inside cover when they tell you to and put your activation code in, and then start exploring. Hope you enjoy. And I'm gone, bye.